make sure you stay until the end of this video where I'll be picking the two winners. Yes, I said the two winners of my giveaway. I'm going to announce the giveaway winner. Bounce, west side, make a bounce right now. Right now, north side, make a bounce right now. Right now, middle finger to the eyes right now. Niggas, you down for the cost right now. Right now, dead side, make a bounce right now. Right now, get the money and we out right now. Right now, get the boys that they want right now. On the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. Working, whipping, grinding, no more time. And I guess I should take it slow. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. You know, I want to introduce a new segment onto my channel called Squad Talk. And during Squad Talk, cause you know y'all are my squad, I wanna talk about a certain subject matter, a certain topic that just crosses my mind that's current. So, without further ado, you know, I know, okay? If you think the melanin is popping, you know what to do. You gotta keep on watch. So in this edition of Squad Talk, Squad Talk, okay, I wanna talk about dating as a millennial. <sighs> it's rough out here, okay? You know it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> yeah, dating as a millennial is hard. Um, a couple weeks back, I told y'all to ask me some questions on what you'd want on my take about dating as a millennial. Now on my previous Instagram Q and A, y'all asked me a lot of relationship question, questions. <laughs> y'all asked me a lot of relationship questions. Now, I would like to say that I'm not the expert on relationships cause you know, your girl's struggling too. So <laughs> yeah. I'm living the single, 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 single <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean to throw it back, y'all. That's like my tune. Like, I have the questions on my phone. Someone was like, like, how do you date? <laughs> um, there's so many ways that you can find someone nowadays. Honestly, it's as easy accessible as your dang phone. Download some dating apps on your phone. I'm not gonna lie and say that I haven't used some dating apps. They are very easily accessible. <laughs> you can find someone just laying down, watching some TV, okay? Just doing your day-to-day -day activities. Dating apps are the way to go if you're someone that doesn't like, you know, going out there like that. There are several dating apps. The first number one dating app that's very popular, you know, within millennials, okay, is Tinder. Tinder is number one, but I feel like Tinder is like known for just being like the hookup type app. I don't know. I know some people that have had relationships off Tinder and it's worked out. Okay, the second dating app I know of is Bumble. Um, tried doing Bumble, but in my area that doesn't work that well. There wasn't enough diversity <laughs> on the Bumble app, so yeah, that didn't work out for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Another one I've heard of, but I've never tried is Soul Swipe. It's more catered to, you know, those with soul, okay, my melanin enriched people. That's what Soul Swipe is about. Haven't tried it, but I heard that, you know, it can work in some areas. Fourth one, I just stumbled across on Snapchat <laughs> and it was called BLK. <laughs> I think that is um, short form for black, okay? <laughs> it's mostly predominant like African-American, you know, it's a black dating app, okay? This is what this BLK app is. And recently when I was in Texas, I was like, you know what, let me give this app a try. <laughs> Cause I was like, where I'm originally from, if you don't know, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Yeah, we need more diversity in this area. So when I was in Texas, I was like, <laughs> let me try this app. <laughs> Anyway, so I went on there, you know, it was cool, but it did not last very long. I met like one person I thought it was a vibe, but then it really wasn't a vibe. Yeah. 
But um, like I said, there's dating apps. Those are a couple that come up to mind. Another good way you can meet people is just going out. Get outside your house. <laughs> you see something you like, talk to it. I mean, like, go out there and talk to someone. You see something you like, be like, hey, what's your name? spark conversation i know that's becoming extinct for us millennials to actually go up to someone and spark conversation with them but if you like something just talk to the person let's start being less scared of rejection you'll never know who you'll find if you're not scared to just go up to that person and spark a conversation with them so you know just be like, hey, how are you? Compliments are always nice. You can always compliment someone. People like compliments, you know? A third way, if you're really about that life, make an eHarmony account. <laughs> I know eHarmony is used, well, okay. This is millennials. So I don't know. I don't know how much millennials are going out there and enjoying eHarmony because I've always thought of eHarmony to be like, older people thing so you know if you want to you can try that too i mean that could be a third way you know to find somebody black people meet <laughs> i mean is it still out there we don't know but black people meet is still a thing i think like is it i think it is i think it is so you know there's plenty of choices on how you can meet people out here start dating if you want to start dating just make a move, make that move, and then see what is out there for you. So another question I got a lot was, what do I think about the stages of dating? The stages of dating can be very complicated in the sense that other people might have their own categories and so like what they think the stages of dating is, but to me it's talking, actual like dating, hanging out, constantly talking. And then the third is like monogamous, like we're about to be in a relationship. Those are the three stages that I see it as. Cause you know, a lot of people like dating more than one person at once. Nothing's wrong with that. But the only thing that gets me with that is that I'm not good at it. <laughs> During the dating stage, some people can date multiple people at once. Me, I struggle. <laughs> I struggle with that quite a bit. I had a friend back in college tell me, girl, you gotta have a starting lineup. And I was like, but like, how can I do that? <laughs> and basically, if you know anything about basketball, that's your point guard, your shooting guard, your power forward, your small forward, and your center, okay? You gotta have all five in rotation. <laughs> and I was like, where they do that at and how you do that. <laughs> Let's just say, you know, your girl tried that combination. I tried to have a whole team. I had my starting five. <laughs> I tried that and they all got traded to different teams. <laughs> and I ended up with nobody. <laughs> okay, if you're about that life and you can juggle multiple people, Hey, like I said, kudos to you. I wish I could, you know, be like you. I wish I could be a pro, but me, I cannot. I cannot be a pro. <laughs> One thing I've noticed is that a lot of men multi-date with ease. Um, like my favorite Gucci man quote goes. Boys are like buses. This, this one makes fifteen one coming. Huh? In the ice skate stunting. Baby, Baby girl, girl, when they walk, she used to be my soldier. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make it up. I didn't make it up. I put a little remix on it, but you know what I mean. Like I said, I'm not an expert, okay? I just say what I think. I'm just speaking from experience. So another question I've been getting asked is kind of personal, but it was like, why are you still single? I don't know. Ask God. <laughs> no, but like for real, I don't know. Some people say maybe you're dating 
the wrong type. Maybe that's me. Okay, maybe I keep on repeating the same patterns and the same patterns keep on happening, you know? So maybe that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'm dating the similar type and I'm getting burned every time. That's such a vague question to ask someone is like, why are you single? Why are you single? <laughs> Like, we don't know. Like Big Sean said. What have you done for yourself? What have you done for your mental health? And you know what? That is the wave I'm on, okay? I need to make sure that I'm okay before I try to do something with someone else. That's my biggest advice for anyone that is dating this dating age as a millennial. Cause you know what? We just have a lot of just too much. Everything is so accessible to us that like, it's just too much, too much overload. And on top of that, well, there's such a lack of communication. And that's so sad that I have to say that, but there's pretty, like there's a very few amount of people, my age, millennials nowadays that know how to communicate or choose to communicate. That sounds so weird, but it's so true. In my opinion, it's true. Experience, boo. Experience will teach you. So <laughs> yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you, Big Sean. He has the single people's anthem right now. Listen, listen, yes, they just waiting for myself, no one else, yes, listen. Hopefully I wasn't all over the place <laughs> with this video. Um, hopefully I, I answered those questions y'all asked me from before and the added ones y'all asked me again. Um, if you don't, you should follow me on my Instagram, okay? Follow me on my Instagram, my socials, okay? Y'all stuck to the end of this video for a reason, and that is to find out if you won the giveaway. <laughs> so let's see who won the giveaway. Let's see who won the giveaway, come on, okay. So I put everyone's name in this hat right here. I'm doing it the old school way because high key, I be feeling like when I enter these YouTube giveaways, like some of them, you know, I be entering and then they never pick me. And I'm like, y'all, did the internet scan thing that you used to pick the winner have a glitch? Okay. <laughs> so I'm doing it the old school way with names in a hat. And I'm just shaking it. And like I said, y'all, thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for helping me get to 100 subscribers. And the next hurdle is 500 subscribers. Ooh, I know, right? Uh, tell a friend, tell a family member, subscribe down to my channel down below. So y'all can, we can win, okay? So more of y'all can enter to win my giveaways because my giveaways are lit. They're lit, lit, lit. <laughs> They're lit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look. Y'all see, it's right here. Ooh, okay, so the winner, the first winner, and this is gonna be the winner of the Jackie Ina ABH palette. Let's see. The winner, oh my gosh, is Amin. <laughs> you won the palette. Fire, flames, all of that joyous occasion. <laughs> okay, let me shake it up, because this is gonna be the winner of the $50 gift card, the $50 gift card. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Okay. All right, let me pick it already. Okay. And the winner is Sadie.
thank you all so much for entering my giveaway. Y'all didn't have to enter my giveaway. Y'all didn't have to comment down below like you always do. Like the constant people that comment down below, y'all know who you are. And I have so much, so much love for you. So much love for your support, for constantly supporting me. It literally means the world to me. Like I don't know how I can put this in words about how much your support means to me. All of you, I will put all your comments on this screen thank you so much so much for supporting me i do plan on doing more giveaways more frequently not just when i reach a certain subscriber amount so look forward to that thank you for the support thank you thank you thank you and hopefully y'all enjoy your giveaway giveaway gifts <laughs> And I keep on saying thank you, but I'm just so happy. Just thank you, okay? If you like what you see, okay? If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you comment, comment down below. Comment, yes, comment if you wanna get featured on my next video. And most of all, y'all, help your girl out. Next milestone, 500 subscribers. Make sure you've tapped or click that subscribe button down below. Y'all already know. Okay, help your girl out and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, hey, uh, pride's gonna be death to me.